hi hi uh, so welcome to our video tutorial uh, in this video tutorial we are going to uh, develop a simple tip calculator application uh, so let's see how how it looks in paint first so what we do is we'll receive the basic service cost first and then we'll have three radio buttons which gives the user an option for good very good and excellent quality of service okay so finally when the user clicks calculate button we'll show the result in a j option pane or a message dialog so the 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 logic is when the user clicks calculate button if the user selects quality of service good then we will add five uh, bird to the basic cost if selected is very good then we will add 10 if selected is excellent then we will add 20 okay so let's design the project first so in NetBeans we need to create a new project new java fx swing application next so the project is tip calculator finish okay now I need to create a new JFrame form. Calculator. Finish. Now this will give me an empty form. So in this empty form, I'll design what we drafted in this paint. So we need label. Okay, we need text field then, and we need radio button. So we'll have three radio buttons, and the last one is we need button for calculate. So now that we finish drawing, then we have to change their properties so let's start from the level so the level I just need to change its text property cost and text field I need to change its name first text cost since it's a text box and uh, I'll use it to take cost so its text field should be empty radio button I have to change their name rdbtn radio button so this one is rdbtn good okay so let's change for the second one rdbtn very good and the third one will be rdbtn excellent so let's change the text property also Okay, the last one okay now for the button let's change its name btn calculate and its text box should be calculate okay now let's have the mouse click event so in here what I should do is take the value of basic cost from txt cost and check if rdb10 good very good or excellent is selected and uh, calculate accordingly so for this uh, we use if else conditional statement so first let's declare variable integer variable called cost and we'll put 
an integer value from text t cost dot get text okay then if rd btn good dot is selected true then in here i'll use j option pad to show the message if uh, we write uh, the word correctly uh, netbeans will give me a an option will give me a suggestion to import j option pad so it will import me it will import for me so add show message dialog root pen will be null and in here i will provide the message so the total cost is okay ziga in here we, uh, we we have to concatenate cost variable plus five like we said in here in the design we will add five if good is selected we will add 10 if very good is selected and 20 for excellent okay so since uh, rdb10 good is selected then the total cost should be cost the basic cost value plus 5 now else if rdbtn very good dot is selected equals true then let's copy the j option pen and in here it should be plus pen now else if our third condition rdbtn excellent dot is selected equal to true now j option pen should be plus 20. now let's let's see let's test our application here we go so let's say one 120 and very good so when i click calculate the total cost is 125 since it's good it adds five and let's see very good now see when i click very good the good option isn't disappeared i have to click to remove it now when i say calculate 130 which means it added 10 okay now remove this and try selecting excellent and now it should be 140 it added 20. now well our if else statement is completed but in the design we have a minor issue which is i can select both three options at a time so when i click on calculate it takes by default the first if statement it's not checking the other two so what should be done is when i select one the other should be unselected automatically so i have to tell uh, java to do that so how am i going to tell it in netbeans is let's go to design and let's drag uh, button group control to the form it won't be visible but it will tell us button group one is added okay so all we have to do is we have to give all three radio buttons the same group name let's select radio group good and did you see the button group option when you click the list it will show us button group one so let's select button group one for good for very good as well and for excellent so what we do is we tell java that all three options are in the same group which means if one is selected the other the other two should be unselected so now let's run our system it's been compiled here we go so when i click good now click very good good will be cleaned excellent okay now our interface is properly managed okay so this is how uh, to implement that uh, by this we'll uh, 
end this video session so thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe our video channel our channel for future videos also please uh, write your comment about our video in the comment section below thank you very much